Okay, this is probably the most exciting video we have ever done up to date. I'm in, a, as I say, a classic, it's heading, it's nearly 20 year old. This car has a red on the outer body, which it doesn't coordinate with the interior. An eagle eyed viewer might already know what car I'm sitting in. Um, another guess for you is my missus actually wanted to get my head examined when she heard how much money I paid for this car. Uh, the badge number is in it. There was only four and a half thousand produced. Um, I'll get it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for the full video. Full video is not completed yet, but we won't be long getting the full video done on it. As the body on this car only needs, uh, I would call it tiny cosmetic. But the story behind this car, it only came in one particular color, and it wasn't red. But the story will sell the car. I mean, it's incredible. Um, why it has red paint. Y you will not believe it when you hear it. Subscribe, click the link, chat soon. No words needed. You know your stuff, you know what that is. It's an RS. Now, forgive the body condition straight away. Don't go jumping to conclusions. A very good story behind this. This car is an amazing example. Although it doesn't look at a wheel when we're finished, right? I'll cut to the chase. Advanced driving performance this is, it appears to have the sticker official training partner from ford this car was used as an advanced driving uh, school car so the likes of emergency services such as ambulance drivers fire brigades and even the guards probably got a spin in this and got their advanced driving course but um take a look at the body here right the story is with it the driving school had it look there's all driving school um pictures and what have you here the driving school had it this is how it was looking in red uh, behind it was blue right take a look at this so this was blue bear in mind back in 2003 the wrap did not exist so there was a big sticker on it but the rest of the car then was blown in take a look at this red paint take take it close up there there's red paint beneath this right the driving skill had it done in their logo colours in red. The cars were actually never sold in red. The car would have been sold in like an imperial, uh, imperial blue colour. Which, again, when we peel back the wrap, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. You might even get the buffer. I don't, think, I don't think it's worth putting the buffer on. But underneath that red paint is the imperial blue colour, the factory colour. The car was never damaged, it was only advertisements put on this vehicle to make it look this way. Now, as you would admit, the last owner, um, he, he purchased this during lockdown and he assumed there was wrap on it. So when he discovered that it wasn't wrap, in order just to tidy it up and drive it around and not make him look like a big bad boy racer with red and blue, he just, he just put some of these little wraps up. The car is, of course, in need of a full entire respray in its original colour. Now, will it get to that? The good news about that is, we can prove it was never damaged, but obviously because it had the advertisements on it. But the other good sign of that is, that car will never rot. The amount of coats of paint that has put on that is actually a credit to the car. And now we're about to put another coat of paint on it, which these cars would suffer from a bit of rust. But as you can see around here, around the bo bottom of the sails and so on. The car is entirely complete um, rust free. Um, it's a gem of a car and look, we'll come back to a car too when we have it. But for now, it is as it is and we look forward to having the car completed.
keep going, keep going. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Cool, thanks for everything. A little bit of a setback for us. Oh, this is the first time actually taking proper spin in the car. Absolute dream to drive it, but I tell you what, the painter went around it. I asked him, could he do anything with the buffer? I think he was looking at me like I had ten heads. He was disgusted. He was like, oh, I can't, like, what do you want me to do? I said, look, I want you. Come around here, look. I peeled off this. I said, I need you to get peeling off. Get this back. Get it back to the original. Uh, colour underneath the red. Now obviously I know you'll probably have to paint the whole car but he was scratching his head for instance we look we'll show you under the bonnet and um, he's like under here that's the expense there was no expense beard when this car went red they went all out they went red on it this car will have to be stripped back all repainted back and come here another thing you'll probably even have to remove the glass to get it like the back windows and all will have to come out. So he, he was like, look, I'd love to do it for you, but look, I just don't have the manpower, I don't have the staff. Like, load now money, you won't paint that car. So we're in a little bit of a predicament now. What do I do? I could actually wrap the car, yeah, that, that could be an idea. But um, look, we'll continue on. We'll soldier on, we get something done with it.